Ring game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, north top, you stop breathing. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I know LB. Is there anything like boxing wise you wanted to, you know, touch upon real quick before we get up out of here? Oh, okay, yeah. Um, uh, oh, let me see. So, no, we had the pull or the yeah, the news. Oh, just real quick, join. Um, which fight was the most unnecessary? <laughs> Jones Hopkins 2, Joppy Duran, or Haney Combosis 2. I put in the chat Fury Chisora 3, but somehow it became Fury Chisora 2 on here. But, uh. Yeah, Fury Chisora 2 wasn't. Fury Chisora 2, because really, seriously, that, that was the worst. I mean, the first yeah, but I think three was way more unnecessary than two. Three was unnecessary. Two wasn't. Two wasn't unnecessary because the first one was actually competitive as fuck. Yeah, like I didn't really feel two was like all that unnecessary. But, but I think I think it was just a typo. Whoever. <laughs> yeah, it had it had to be because three was super unnecessary. It was like, yeah, why? Yeah. I mean, I didn't pick that though. I picked Jones Hopkins too because mostly because that fight just hurt my soul just watching that shit. Yeah. Actually, that's the one I picked as well, but yeah, I, I, I was getting nervous out that Joppy Duran. I was about to pick that one. I was like, nah, Jones Hopkins too. Yeah, because at least with Duran, Duran had been Duran had been sticking around, and you know, because Duran, yeah. been, I mean, had been winning lower level fights by that time. Like even though he was washed, and then it was just one of those things. It's like, hey, you know, beyond like, washed, nigga. Yeah. You know, this is yeah. It, this is basically the time where Duran, like, if someone gave him uh, too hard of a fight or whatever, he would quit. But it doesn't. No one really likes to talk about the ninety, uh, excuse, the nineties version of Duran all that much because you know, there are some eyesores on there. But this was the biggest eyesore because it was like there, there was nothing, nothing. Joppy, and I, and I, I, I let you know. I'm not. A fan, I've never been a fan. Just something about Joppy that always pissed me off. Uh, you know, but that fight was just just disgusting to watch. It was a horrible, disgusting fight. Where at least, it, where ten years before that, you know, Joppy wouldn't be able to carry that motherfucker's like jock strap. Like it's just true. Yeah. It's like, but Joppy had to do what needed to be done, or Dur Duran would still be fighting. Right, and <laughs> it was of course it was during the, it was also during that time where the middleweight division was like very trash. The lower half, the lower half of the nineties, it was. It, it was yeah. full of a lot of uh, alphabet champions and champions that that should have never been fucking champions, like fucking a hot scene Sharifi shit, like or fucking Julio Caesar Green. I'm mean, not. I, I can name off some hard some names. There was some horrible. Yeah, you taking champions. them back there, yo. <laughs> yeah, there's some horrible middleweight champions, brother. Like shit. Oh you man. Know? You know, and yeah, and it was, and just seeing Joppy. Joppy was actually one of the better ones. Because you know Joppy was actually a two-time middleweight champion in that yeah. period, and yeah, and and just seeing him batter Duran was just a horrible look. It was a bad look. Showtime, yeah, it was a Showtime aired that shit. Showtime, you yeah, know, Showtime aired that shit. Yeah, Crazy. Showtime needed to be ashamed of themselves for that one. Like they said, like no, but but what Jones Hopkins hurt my hurt the watch it because yeah, we all saw that shit in real time. The real re the rematch should have took place in two thousand one or. Two, you know, yep. one, yeah, 60 it. 40, but you know, yeah, because this is where basically Hopkins was at his peak of his career, and so was Roy Jones. Whereas in the first fight, neither of them were, well, but Roy beat dude yeah. with one hand, like clearly, it was a clear 8 4 ass type victory. You know, I had a 9 3, but I can give you 8 4. Yeah, it, it was different, I mean, but yeah, nothing close to that. I mean, Hopkins, he tried, but. You know, when you see him getting lit up by fucking lead uppercuts and shit like that and left hooks and took them shits too. I'm not going to lie, you know, but it's just like it was a little different. Yo. Roy Roy was just a little different back then. <laughs> but yeah, this one, yeah, yeah, but that whole 60-40 shit and then, you know, both of them, you know, Roy Jones fell off quick and Hopkins took him a while. It took him a while to fall off though, but, uh, you know, but by, by, by the time the rematch happened, like, you know, Roy was pretty much shot to pieces, and then you know Hopkins was supposed to knock him out, but Hopkins was not struggled used. with him. 
Yeah, because yeah, because because the activity fucking gassed him out. And he started doing that old man Hopkins shit. Then he had the fight. That is just horrible. Like it's one of those fights we try to forget happened. It's in the same vault with um Oscar, not Oscar. Um, uh, Marquez what? Vasquez four. Thank you, thank you, thank you, you motherfucker. You knew what I was gonna say. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. It's in that same vault where they holding that in the um. That or Rios Alvarado, or yeah, or like Rios Alvarado three, like fights that yeah. were just like you forget that they fucking exist. Just the first, uh, although I kind of want to remember the first half of that fight. The first <laughs> half was quality, <laughs> I'm but sure. then it just went off a cliff horribly. It, it turned into Daddy Garcia Thurman. <laughs> Yeah, I think Joe Hopkins too yeah. only had like one good exchange where both of them were kind of throwing hands, and then fucking yeah, it was between Hopkins and his the Roy's kids. Yeah, and then Hopkins gassed off that shit too, which was the, it was just it was it was just it was just, it was just a horrible look. And it was on paper, it was on independent pay per view because you know who the fuck was gonna? I mean, Hopkins was still fighting on HBO, but who the fuck HBO was not gonna air that shit? <laughs> you know, you fucking kidding me? Like, you lost your fucking mind. We wanted yeah, this like, shit back in twenty uh, two thousand one, uh, Hopkins. Yeah, you know, yeah. So yeah, it, 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 it just was not a good fucking look. Like it was, yeah, and and that's why. Like I mean, that one was just because it was just watching this shit, and I was just like, and it went twelve too. Like you know, god damn it, nigga. Like <laughs> horrible fight. Kind of kind of slowed Hopkins' momentum down at the time. Yeah, he did. You know, even though do going to fucking you know. You know, become light heavyweight champion and, you know, all that other shit, you know, and pick up three, three, three light heavyweight belts. But yeah, that was just one of those fights that was just like, God damn it. You know, you, you, you just felt, you felt bad for watching this shit. You felt pissed because you wasted your time watching it. One of the most unnecessary matches of all time. Yeah, and it went the, it went the distance. So the other Speaking fights, of unnecessary rematches, though. Yes, you know, good segue into. You know, you know, as the world turns, featuring Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. You know, so yeah. now it's it's come out now that Terrence Crawford. Yeah, how do you feel about it? Yeah, has picked the weight and has decided that 147 will be the weight for the rematch. And it's like, hey, you know, I mean, the man stipulations. You know, you know, like I said, you know, even though I don't like stipulations at time because you know stipulations is why we got. Purity Wider 3, which was also a necessary rematch too as well. But niggas like that fight more than more than my opinion, so I get drowned out a lot. Because um, at least it turned out to be a, a good fight, quality, exciting fight. I get it, but all right, yeah, it turned it, out okay. So Yeah, it, it did, but it, cut, it, it ruined trajectories and it ruined the fight that, the real fight that niggas wanted to see. So Well, well, no, but nobody told Joshua to go out and lose to Usyk. That's on him. I mean, he 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 was bound by his mandos. It had to, like you know, it's you know, shit happens. You know, it's... no one told the heavyweight to not fight like a heavyweight. Yeah, either right, way, man. let me, and that's why I got pissed. <laughs> that's why I didn't put no predictions on that one or Fury Wilder. I didn't want to hear nothing. I didn't want to say nothing because I was so furious about about that about about Fury and Joshua. You know, having to be uh, canceled. You know, but in this particular case now with Spence and Crawford, it's like, first of all, like a beating like that in the first fight, like nah, like you you yeah. want to run that back with it? It's gonna flop. It's gonna flop. I mean, like I mean, I, I get it, but like, what's the point? Yeah, it's, it's, it, it, it was competitive. It wasn't competitive. You know. Yeah, it, it's a hard sell because. Crawford dominated so thoroughly. Like, yeah. you let's, know, let's, let's like, fight with no belts on the line this time. Let's fight with no belts on the line not this time after a, a fucking generational ass whooping. Yeah, and, and on top of that, I mean, I think everyone, I mean, everyone's like, you know, plus, you know, you know, Spence's issues, the weight issues, the boxing issues, the issues where I think it, it's funny to me, it, it took this fight to, to, let, to make people realize that something was awful. It's terrible. funny, right? Spence fans are funny because they're, like, they're, they're almost worse than Canelo and Loma, Loma fans because these motherfuckers are really trying to say, but is ducking now? Like, what? Like, that's the, the most insane yeah, thing. Yeah, see, Spence fans are the ones, first of all, they're talking about, you know, you know Crawford, you know, he's going to take Crawford's eye, all this other shit, too. That's but insane. now it's like, well, Spence, now, now, now they say, well, Spence never recovered from that crash. 
Like, I don't want to hear that shit. I said that shit some junk that this motherfucker was like, uh, like, you're looking unfamiliar, you start talking about all this shit. Like, nah, you said this nigga is going to take Crawford, I stand on that shit. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Nah, I mean, this is the thing, yo, like, it's just kind of, it's a funny look. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I'm not going to No, go ahead, go ahead. Like, these are all very baseless arguments. I'm just saying. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Like, like, it, it, it's a, it's just a funny look. I know everybody keeps bringing up the well. They had a gentleman's agreement. Crawford said, "Hey, the next fight to be at one fifty four. But or oh, the contract says, "Hey, the winner, hey, if if if, if Crawford wants to say one forty seven, one forty seven, and it's like I get it, but then it's like that's assuming like you're you're trying to like make a plan with all the ifs in the motherfucking world mm. well you know if i if i say 147 spence is gonna turn down the fight and then that frees me up to fight uh canelo but canelo has to beat charlo but if canelo loses to charlo he's more than likely gonna want to fight charlo in a rematch so what am i gonna be doing mm-hmm. but then it's like i'd have to fight canelo at 168 but I'm making a big deal about going 154 and getting an easy payday against Spence. <laughs> it's not like, I mean, if you're going to fight at 147 again, like, you may as well fight Boots. That's also true. And that's the argument. And, and I and just feel like it's just also misguided, sore, sore <laughs> winner Canelo type payday. of... Canelo payday is calling his name, so, I mean, I... But that's no guarantee, nigga. Like, no, I know. No, Canelo's going to keep on it. I'm just saying, I know. I'm just saying. I mean, Canelo said he fucks with the possibility, but Canelo got his hands full. Yeah, he got a big. Fight. And then you know that fight's gonna if, if if Canelo loses or it's a draw or it's some Golovkin constant versus type of that, shit, that. You're gonna have to run that back. So what's Crawford gonna be doing in this time? Making excuses not to fight fucking Boots. Yeah, is Crawford, he gonna fight? Is he gonna fight Zoo? Tim Zoo's I good, doubt I that. Say- Tim Zoo's a good payday, I mean, but, you know, but he don't, you know. It's decent. But, dude, he's, dude, Zoo is not a bigger payday than a Spence rematch payday. Sp- Zoo is only a bigger payday if he goes and fight him in Australia. Mm-hmm. Then, yeah, then Crawford would get, like, buku bucks. No, but he not. ain't gonna want to do that shit. He ain't, like, he's Crawford now. Yeah, you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to Ricky Burns it. Yeah, so it's like... I just don't see the logic in this move at all. I'm just like, yo, you know, get Spence out the way again, collect that check, get it over with. Okay, you're at 154. Now you could parlay that into something else. Or you could go back to 147, get boots. At least you got options now. But just kind of like put yourself in a position where you know you could literally be in a no man's land for a while and just sit on the shelf right now especially when you're at your hottest right like i just kind of feel like that's counterproductive like all this shit about all oh, the fight not gonna sell this that that it'll sell look if you do it at 154 that's the selling point right everybody you- all the Spence fans are going to pretty much sell that fight on the whole, hey, he's at 154 now. He's going to be bigger, better, da 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 Yeah, yeah, they're going to do You know they're going to say all that shit. <laughs> you do that 147, it's like it's on some spiteful, petty, I'm trying to be manipulative, and it's going back on your word. I know everybody keep bringing up the c- contract, but, you know, sometimes... You could be right and still be wrong. And I feel like, you know, the boxing gods that look at shit like that. And I, Crawford shouldn't do, do anything right now. He's in a position where the boxing gods are on his side. You know, he's in a spot where he's long deserved for a long ass time. He's on the and back. Hate, he's on the 18th hole almost. You know what I mean? Too. He's on what? He's on the 18th hole. Like it's almost over. He's, you know. It's yeah, yeah. Out. So I hate for him to do something like this, where 
you could put some karma or some bad karma in the game this late in the game when you're like really almost at the finish line and you could be really capitalizing off of this shit. And you hit your popularity apex. You're, you're, you're one of the- yeah, like, why do some shit like this now? Like, bro, just fight this man. Get it over with. Uh, I'm the, do you know, that 154. I'm a big Bud fan. And it, it, yeah, the contract of the contract, he is the, has the right to be the A-side. But if he would have never said the whole never said four shit- if you would yeah. never said if we never said about 168 you know that too if, if he yeah. if he also didn't say oh yeah i'm gonna fight spence at 154 because i'm struggling you know i gotta use the sweatsuit or the sauna or whatever but him to say yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll go 168 because before he said no i would fight at one you know i don't do 160 you know but then he realized that canelo payday would you know be a, yeah. a grand finale you know but i felt like now yeah it is a little petty it is a little bit flexing the a-side thing um but it's just the fact that this fight's not going to sell and the belts, there's no belts in the line. I don't know. Like, it, it's not. I keep saying the fight's good. Dude, these niggas got 25 mil a piece for a fight that only has 650 pay per views. I'm sure. I mean, I'm Them sure. Them niggas cool. got paid. It don't matter don't about the care, sales no. like that. How many, how many buys would they do pay per view wise? You think? How many? Roughly. Them niggas would do like 325. 300, maybe? Yeah. Even if they don't make 25 mil and these niggas make 15 mil or 20 mil, they still getting paid, bro. Like, I'm not even trying to, like, pocket watch niggas, but I just don't see no upside in not doing this shit at 154 and rematching this nigga and getting it done with. So and being that's active. If, let's say that he does take the fight at 154, beats, you know, wraps up Spence, what would be ideal next for him? Because, you know, next couple fights, would, you know, what would be the... Try to get we, we gotta we gotta know the outcome of Charlos uh Canelo by this time. Yeah. That 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 matters a lot in the grand scheme. Of that things. matters a lot. You know what I mean, because then it's like the only because you still gonna have Zoo and Boots. And remember, like I feel like the Boots fight is big enough. If Boots went to one fifty four, that'd be a, still a big fight. Same thing with Zoo. He'll have a belt. He's done enough where people could think it's legitimate or not, or whatever. <laughs> so he has options. I'm just saying, hey, stay, stay active. Mm -hmm. Get the yeah. easy money. Like you've been getting easy money before. Shit. At least fight sometime in the first quarter of 2024. At least, you know. Do you see how difficult it was to make the Spence fight? Like, bro, like if you don't, he, he, didn't, he didn't really take no damage. Like, you know, he didn't take no damage in that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, like, come on, fam. Like. It just don't like cause look, uh, you could like I always try to look at shit on a deeper like maybe Crawford was gonna do this all along and like like don't let Bo Mac on no car suffer no karma shit on no on your decision, bro. Like I don't think he expected Spence to be get this mad on like that himself. I mean maybe he did, but I just like I, I think that the that that, that the real, did. The fight wasn't the, yeah, saying, the fight, but the fight wasn't competitive, you know what I mean? Like it, like It don't hard. matter. Look at the poll we had. You know, because the fight was supposed to happen before the end of the year. You know that Spence needs to recover, you know what I mean? Need some time off after that. You know Dude, saying? niggas can recover, bro. Spence don't like it's up that Spence wanna deal with this shit. I'm not in this man camp or his life. If you mm -hmm. want the rematch, you want the rematch. It's six months. Yeah, and I, I and I said before too, if it's one forty seven, Spence is getting packed up in short order. Like there's like and there's no way that this like like I said, it's I mean it's, it's sad to say it, but that's what's going to happen. Like there's no, I mean I, unless yeah, cause, uh, yeah, unless Father Time starts hitting Crawford, which randomly, yeah, the likelihood, yeah, yeah. yeah unless somehow Spence went to this uh, a robbery, I don't see how he wins that fight somehow. Especially yeah. dude, at one forty seven, like, if I'm Spence. Reason. I'll take the fight and I'll weigh in and I'll weigh in late. I'll weigh in over the fight that or something. That was such a motherfucking mismatch, man. That's it. Yeah, I'm like, the, 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 like just, yeah. If you want the rematch, I'm not going to let this nigga be petty on that shit. Nah. <laughs> nah, salute to Spence. Pay the penalties, you know? make the fight. Salute to Spence. You know, he, he's a warrior. He, want, he wants to run it back. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and there's nothing wrong with that, though, but it's just. Because I guarantee you. Crawford will be out uh, uh, like at least a year if he doesn't fucking fight Spence in the rematch. It all that's just a buzz kill for someone who's like literally one of the faces of boxing. It all depends what happens on uh, uh, on the thirtieth of this month, twelve days. 
that's gonna factor in it. But if if he already if he makes a decision before then, or even then, <laughs> even if afterwards, <laughs> but yeah, it just because I just look at it like wow, bro, like like this this make make something happen, nigga. Like yeah. I mean, the only, the only, the only upside for Spence outside of the money is hoping that his corner will stop the fight, or the doctors will stop the fight when it's clear that Spence, that Spence is taking too much punishment. Like, yeah, that too. Yeah, because yeah, because I, I don't think Spence can take another nine round or more beating like this from Crawford. Like the clean punches, clean counters, all that shit. I don't think he. Uh, it, 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 Spence Spence will lose some. I mean, he's already lost something. He will lose some. He'll lose some more stuff if that keeps if that happens. So, you know. But, oh yeah. So um, when I was training uh, at the park, uh, one of my students last week, I think it was uh, I think Thursday or, or Tuesday. One of them, uh, a guy got out of the car who's about to run. He seen he's doing the mitts. He was asked. So he asked us. So who you think winning the rematch with uh Crawford and Spence? And we both looked at him and it was like Crawford, you know, especially if it's even if it's at one fifty. He's like even if it's at one fifty four, we're like yeah, and like this is a casual nigga too. So um, mm-hmm. and and he was like why? And we was telling about the whole he don't move his head. He's we don't think he's going to improve, but at least he could probably take the punches better and train better at one fifty four. But. Mm-hmm. So dude was like, like he was turning into advanced casual, and then he said, then he said something that kind of fucked it up. He was like, he said, I think Crawford beats uh, uh, Charlo, and I was like, yeah, I, you know, I could see. I was like, that's a closer fight, like you know, I, I could see that, but uh, I, I think Charlo beats Crawford. But then he said, Craw, he said Spence and Charlo, they're the same, and I was like, nah, oh, no, yeah. <laughs> like that's where you lost me, bro, like. There's no way you can say they're the same fighter. They got the same coach, same trainer, but nah. Like, mm-hmm. like no. Like, yeah. Had me in the first half. <laughs> yeah. And so um, we we got to talking about the... Um, then my student was like... Uh, but yeah, Spence was injured, man. You know, the car accident, this, that. So the dude was like, looked at him on some like... Man, but he beat Ugas and Danny Garcia and this, that. and he said, but that he said, but he's like they're not as good as Crawford. And I was like Thurman. He was like, man, Crawford beat the shit out of Thurman. <laughs> like, well, he's not, he's not wrong there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean he was very wrong. I told him so, but you know, <laughs> of course you would, nigga. <laughs> I was like, but I said I, I do think um uh, Thurman would have beat Spence and um would have prepared Spence. For Crawford, but I think Spence was worried about actually losing the Thurman. Like, so, it, but it, but it's just interesting. It's just cool to see that boxing has gotten so big to the point where niggas come up to you actually talking boxing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and engaging in a, a conversation and shit. So you know, yeah, yeah. As I mentioned before, the chat. You know what I mean? Like said. Uh, Dominican chick, you know, she's like sends me shit all the time about boxing, caught the bug and all that shit. So it's like, yeah, you know, it's like, yeah, boxing, yeah, boxing is buzzing. Like, you know, even when, even when the big, even when there's not a big fight going on, it's still buzzing enough because, like I said, in actually in a couple weeks, it's going to pick up anyways again because business is a booming. Yeah, yeah, because it's like there's been enough big and significant fights. And low key, I, I think a lot of people underestimate like niggas who catch the fights on ESPN Saturday night sometimes. Mm-hmm. So you know all that plays into you know, and then social media, and they see the the viral knockouts and shit, and on TikTok and shit. So boxing's getting there. Boxing's there. I can't even say it's getting there. I feel like. Uh, it's still missing some elements that could make it really bigger. Um, I would love to see a scripted boxing series. Bloodhounds was a start, but m- something more maybe on this side. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but um, that, uh, uh, I know niggas are saying, uh, yeah, we're getting extra shit to, to, the, to that one boxing undisputed game. 
Nobody cares until y'all putting that shit on the uh the, the consoles. consoles. PS5 console. I know y'all just dropped Larry yeah. Holmes career. PS4 mode. too, please. Career mm-hmm. mode coming out, you know what I mean? All yeah, this shit. these rich fucks. I'm yeah. saying, but you know, like I thought they got Larry Holmes in the game now, and, like career mode, but come on, man. Yeah, I don't care about career mode, god mode, fade mode, whatever mode. It's like, like that, you know, the, the like it's only on PC is kind of trash. I'm sorry. Yeah, like if y'all ain't put this shit on the console yet, like we don't care about the updates no more. It's like it's like Fury Usyk. If y'all ain't telling us the fight sign and y'all doing press conferences, and and, and these niggas is staring each other down and they're talking about yeah, live in Dubai or live in da 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 da. Like we don't care about the update. We don't care about oh, it's super close to getting done. The, the talks have heated up. No. <laughs> God damn, y'all done heated that motherfucker. It's burned, it's cooked, it's done. Right. Can't heat up the talks no more. <laughs> so shit, like fuck it. So y'all can have a game. I know y'all get, they getting a the, um they remaking the, the punch out. I seen a little clip of that. That should kind of look fire, like with the newer graphics and making it look more over the top. So I guess I'll keep the streets a little you know fed until we get some real shit but um yeah i mean y'all could bring back epo a a boxing anime something original (coughs) something um but yeah there's other boxing media that could really kind of fill in the gaps right now that you know boxing reality series something like y'all could like really go next level with this shit for the type of year And, and 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 monetize on the popularity of boxing because it's still peaking mm-hmm. you know fights are still being made you know there's we're getting a balance now with a youtube the fuckery fights the the real fights and the semi-real fights they're all kind of getting lined up to where everybody kind of appreciates them for what they are and it's not like oh damn they're competing Jake Paul versus this nigga. That nigga is Spence and Tank. That is nice. We all know what it is. And it's like, yeah, yeah. Roly Tank. Roly. <laughs> Ryan. Yeah, yeah. Tank. I mean, KSI. Tommy Fury. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Crawford Spence. Canelo Benavidez. Yeah. Da, 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 I mean. Yeah. And I think that's good for the sport. Because it, it can all exist. It all makes the sport bigger. Because one nigga might see a semi box a semi real shit and be like yo i wonder how the real shit is nigga might see the little bullshit and be like i wonder what the semi real shit and the nigga might go from the jake paul to the roly fight to a fucking spence fight or a crawford fight growth nigga shit growth for sure but yo i gotta, I gotta wrap this up because i know i gotta go to bed i gotta, I gotta yeah yeah I'm, I'm good i'm it's really good it's only 10 o'clock it's only 10 o'clock i'm just playing <laughs> this nigga, you, you know, going back to Cali, ass nigga. <laughs> going back to Cali. But yo, in t- terms of final thoughts, man, I, I oh, mean, obviously, yeah, no you know, rinks, <laughs> you know, like, you know, ranking. Also, you know, of course, we saw everyone that, you know, that was listening to us, you know, talk our boxing shit and whatnot. And uh, yeah, we'll be back on Thursday with some ranting and to review the new Nas shit and everything. You know, Rome will probably join us too and everything. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, Salute for you know P who's in Florida right now. You know, gotta get getting ready to cover this Hitchens card and everything like that. So How you know, your boy. Yeah, you know, get might get some other other content. You know, he got his ring gang shirt too. So yeah, if you see, you know, you, you see uh, a Rican with wild hair and a beard and well, walking yo, around. Chill, chill, chill. I just got a haircut. Chill, chill. <laughs> holla at, at your guala. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of typecast and nigga and shit. He's like, nah, hold on. Like, he had better got a haircut. How does it is down here, nigga? I braid that shit. <laughs> but you know, other than that, you know, like I said, you know, you know, you know where you know where to find us. Our content, especially, you know, the YouTube and you know where you know you listen, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends to do the same, and then we can all be friends. You know, what I'm saying, if you feel so inclined to do so, you know. Read that banner, you know, you can donate to our PayPal and everything like that. Because, like I said, we do this shit for y'all. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I mean, yeah, that's it for me. Any of y'all have any final thoughts before we get up out of here? Nah, I'm good. Nah, we good, we good. 
Yeah. All right, cool. So yeah, you know, for myself, you know, Pat Scorpio, the New England representer. For LB, shut up the God, the Goat artist. For King P, Bodega P, and for Conscious Pilot, you know, this has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk. Where, as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. So until Thursday, peace.